Airports across the country hit with industrial unrest this morning, and behind it, members of the Bahamas Public Services Union who are hoping to apply pressure on the government to act in the face of stalled contract negotiations. Cleopatra Murphy tells us what steps airport officials were forced to take to ensure operations continued running smoothly. We will not allow the interest of a few uh, to trump the national interest, and we will act in the best interest of the Bahamian people. Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Tourism, Investments and Aviation, the Honorable Chester Cooper's blunt response after approximately 20 security screeners at airports throughout the country called in sick to work Monday. The move comes after Bahamas Public Service Union President Kimsley Ferguson threatened industrial action last week over stalled efforts to finalize a new industrial agreement for staff at the airport authority. Mr. Ferguson has been attempting to get an agreement uh, since 2018. That agreement had expired because it had not been acted on in 2020. There have been efforts uh, by my administration and the airport authority uh, to negotiate an agreement and get one in place over the last eight months. So he is criticizing our administration uh, for not doing in eight months what he has not been able to get done in four and a half years. Cooper, who visited the Linden Pinling International Airport and spoke with several staffers who reported to work, says the move could not have come at a more inopportune time and could set the rebounding tourism industry back. Today we have an inspection going on from uh, TSA. Uh, the timing of this uh, action could not be worse, uh, but we have an opportunity to demonstrate uh, that under pressure we can put in place a contingency plan uh, to ensure uh, the smooth operations of the airports across the country. That contingency plan included assistance from the armed forces, including police and defense force officers. The minister also thanked airport authority staff who assisted in getting the airport through the early morning rush that saw no flights delayed. As for the union's act, Cooper does not consider it one of good faith, declaring he has asked the union to work with the Davis administration while considering the country's financial circumstance. We will negotiate in good faith, but we will not be held over a barrel. We will not be strong-armed. Uh, we will do what's in the interest of the Bahamian people, all of the Bahamian people. The minister says the plan was to refer the matter to the industrial tribunal that would put it to an end, insisting government would not take the matter lying down and would use everything available under the law to ensure no adverse impact to the traveling public. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.